Welcome back, my loves. I'm Andrea, and welcome to Life As I Know It. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of our YouTube family. Today, I have some fun and easy Easter DIYs for you that you can use for your home or give away as a gift. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into these DIYs. We're going to take our ribbon here and add a little hot glue to the tip of it and we're going to place it on this foam and make sure that it's secured on there. Once we have it on there nice and neat, we're just going to go ahead and take the ribbon throughout the foam, pull it tight when you bring it through, and then you're just going to continue to wrap the ribbon around the foam. I got the foam and the ribbon from the dollar store. Just take the ribbon and overlap it over the ribbon that you just laid. If you want to make it tighter, then you lower it closer to the left. If you want to make it loose, then you pull it to the right to make it loose. You, When you make it tighter, you do use more ribbon. When you make it loose, of course, it's less ribbon. So depending on how much ribbon you have, that's the way I would say to wrap this foam wreath. I used a roll of ribbon and a half to wrap this up. Now, when you go to wrap this up and you come to the end, I always suggest that you wrap it on, which is going to be the back part of the frame. Then you take the ribbon, the new ribbon, and lay it over the ribbon that's already there halfway and then start wrapping the ribbon around the frame as you go. When you get to the end of the foam, we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we cover it up really well. And whatever part that you decided to be the bag, that's where we're going to cut the ribbon and glue that into the bag of the frame. Once you have that part done, we are done wrapping the ribbon around the frame. Now I cut these flowers off a bushel that we got from the dollar store. So what we're gonna do is make a little bouquet. We're gonna put all the flowers together, place them on top of this twine and use the twine to tie them together. We're gonna add our flowers to our wreath. We're gonna put a little hot glue on the back of the flower and the wreath, and then we're gonna take some of our twine and attach them together to keep them secure in place. I had this bow for another project, so we're just going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to add a little hot glue, attach it to our flowers, and then I'm going to take the intels of the bow and just trim them up a little. So I'm going to fold it in half, take the scissors, and cut downward. And this just cleans up the bottom of your ribbon. Now this little gem right here I got from the dollar store. We're just going to add a little hot glue and attach it to the bow. These really come in handy. I would recommend buying them if you see them because they do add a little sparkle to your DIY. This is a sign that we had from another project. It was the last one left over. So we're just going to add a little hot glue to it, press it down. And once we have that attached, we are done with this DIY. Now 
This little crate right here came from the dollar store and I painted it. I used it for another project. And these little wooden blocks are from the garland that they sell in the Crafter Square section. And I just painted them too. So we're going to take some Easter grass and a piece of a pool noodle and we're going to put it inside of our crate. And once we have that nice and full, we're going to put that to the side and move on to our bunny. We're going to take our little moss bunny from the Dollar Tree and we're going to take some rhinestones. And we're going to take the rhinestones and give our little bunny eyes. And once we have the eyes on our bunny, I'm going to give him a cute little collar to go around his neck. So this ribbon right here, I think I got from Michael's, but you can use any kind of ribbon. I'm going to wrap this around twice and then I'm going to cut it and use a little hot glue to secure it to the bunny. We got these flowers from the Dollar Tree and what we're going to do is cut a rose and a piece of greenery off. And we're going to add a little hot glue to them and we're going to place them down on the lace around the bunny's neck. Now these little Easter eggs were their Insta egg ornaments that had the ribbon. So all I did was cut the ribbon off and you can take two picks or skews, cut them down. And we're just going to place them inside of the foam eggs. And once we have all our eggs together, we're going to use those little two picks to place inside of our crepe basket. And we're gonna use them to stick right down inside of that pool noodle. The same way you put the toothpick in the Easter eggs, we also took one and placed it inside of the bunny. So that way we can stick them right down on the pool noodle. We're gonna take some extra eggs and place them around the little basket. And then I took these carrots that we got from the dollar store. We're also going to place them inside of the basket with our eggs and our rabbit. Now this part right here is optional, but I just took a little greenery that I had laying around and I just took a couple little pieces and just placed them inside of our basket. Once you have your eggs and your carrots and your greenery in there, we are done with this little basket. We're going to take this little Easter bunny kit and make us a flower pot bunny. So first thing we're going to do is take the ears, use a little glue, and we're going to test the ears together. And once we have them attached together, we're going to put them aside and we're going to get our flower pot. Now we did paint our flower pot white because it's going to be a white bunny with a pink tail. I'm going to take a little hot glue and paste it on the back of this little pom-pom and attach the pom-pom to our flower pot. And once we have that in place, we're going to go ahead and use a little hot glue to attach our ears to the top part of the flower pot. Now the second pom-pom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little hot glue and we're gonna put the little eyeballs on there and also a nose, which is inside of the packet. And once we have that all attached on the pom-pom, we're gonna take a, add a little hot glue to the pom-pom and we're gonna attach it to right in between the bunny's ears. I'm going to take the second flower pot and add a little hot glue and place it right on top of our first flower pot. And once we have that secure, we're going to go ahead and take some greenery. Any flowers that you have laying around that you want to put inside of this will work fine. Use what you have, and that's what I'm trying to do. Use everything that I have in my stash. Now, the little foam ball was those little balls they sell in the Dollar Tree. I think you get like six or seven in a pack. I just took one of them and placed it inside. But if you have any foam laying around, just use that to put inside of the flower pot. And once we have our flowers in our flower pot and we have it set the way we want, we are done with our bunny flower pot.
move the cords from the bunny ear and place that to the side because we're not going to use it and this is one of those diy bunnies so we're going to take the decals from the wall street collection and we're going to place them on the bunny you can decorate your bunny any way you want i just thought this was really a quick and easy hack we're going to take the real big rows place it on the mid section and then we're going to cut one rose in half and we're going to use them to decorate the bunny's ears Now this is one of those clip on bunny tails that they had at the Dollar Tree. If you have the snowballs that they sold during Christmas, you can use that also. But what I like about this, we can clip this right onto our bunny. And when we're done, we can clip, take it right on off and use it in another DIY. So we're just going to go ahead and attach it to our bunny. I decided to add a couple more little flowers to the top of our bunny's head. Turn your bunny over and just cut down the slits so that way you can lay the decal down flat in the back. You can just cut away any excess of the decal that you don't want on the back of the bunny. And I decided to take this little jewel that we got from the dollar store and I'm going to give our bunny a pink necklace. Once we have this on there, we are done with this DIY. Now I took some contact paper and took the egg and I traced the egg over the contact paper and just cut it out. I'm going to use a generous amount of Mod Podge to attach the contact paper to the egg. And as you can see, this is the back of the egg and I did this for a reason. So that way next year, if we want to do something else, all we have to do is turn it over. Once we have enough Mod Podge, we're going to go ahead and take our contact paper and place it down and smooth it, all the wrinkles out, and then we're going to place our egg to the side. Here we have some flowers that we cut down, and all I'm going to do is take some twine, wrap it around the flowers, and then tie it together. Dollar Tree has a lot of nice flowers you just have to really look through but when you find something you like I would suggest that you grab it. So we're going to take this ribbon that we got from the Dollar Tree, turn the egg over, put a little hot glue on the back of the ribbon and we're just going to wrap it around the egg. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap the ribbon twice. So I'm going to take the second layer and I'm going to take a little bouquet and I'm going to lay it in between the first layer and the second layer of the ribbon. Add a little hot glue, cut the ribbon, attach it to the back. Now we have our bouquet secured inside of our ribbon. We are going to make a quick bow so we're going to cut the ribbon fold it in half and then we're going to pinch the ends together and take a little twine and wrap that around our bow to secure our bow once we have that in place we're going to cut off the excess string and then we're going to take the tails of our bow fold it down and take a pair of scissors and cut straight down. This is going to clean up our bow, make it look nice and neat. And then we're going to add a little hot glue to the back of this bow. And we're going to attach it to the bouquet that's on our Easter egg. And once we have that on there, we are done with this DIY.
Well, my loves, that is the end of our fun, easy Easter DIYs. Hopefully, I made something that you can use for your home decor or you can give away as a gift or a project that you can do with children in your life. If you are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of our YouTube family. And if you're returning, you are truly appreciated. If I showed you any decorations in here that you enjoy, give me a thumbs up. Also, let me know which one was your favorite. If you're returning, you are truly appreciated. I want everyone to have a blessed day. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind. And if I don't speak to you before Easter, have a happy, blessed Easter and stay safe until we see each other again. Bye for now.